Hello. Um, I'm going to be making a little bit of uh, work based on the art of Sandra Sinto. She does large scale paintings that involve a variety of lines and that's what I want you to do. I want you to create an artwork with a variety of lines. I'm looking for thick and thin lines. We're going to do the reverse of what she does. She does white lines on a black ground. We're going to make um, some a pencil drawing on a white ground. I've got my three pencils, my 2B, my 4B, and my 6B, and they're all nice and sharp. I'm going to start out and I'm going to look at her work and think about the quality of line that she has going on. So I'm going to start, um, she's got these sort of squiggly, cloud-like or wave-like forms. So I'm going to do one of those, um, maybe going off the paper. I've started here with a nice light line. Um, I'm going to get back in and as I make the turns, I'm going to get a little bit farther away. And you can see I'm applying a little bit more pressure with this 2B pencil. Um, as I go. So there's that one. I'm going to switch to the 4B. This is part of this exercise is you getting to know your materials. I'm going to try and create a variety of lines and I'm going to try and make thick lines as I go around the turn by applying more pressure. And a little bit thinner as I go forward. So um, I'm going to move over to the 6B and see what I can do with it. All right, so I'm, I, I'm seeing um, a little bit of a change from very, very light to very, very dark. I want to see that in your drawing too. I'm going to go back here. Um, she also makes these uh, little, I don't even know what to call them. Um, I'm adding some other details. I'm going to do a little hatching. I'm going to switch back out maybe to the 4B and try to make some darker hatches. Okay. Um, last but not least, now I want you to fill your whole page here, um, but I want you to practice this technique. Let's say um, I want you to be able to go from a nice dark line to a nice light line and then back again. So dark to light to dark to light to dark to light to dark. So try getting this transitional line. That's a really lovely thing to be able to do. Um, so go ahead, have some fun. Um, try to fill your page. I want to see a variety of marks in that page.